Charlotte Interwebs and welcome back. I'm Shanna and this is why I share my life and stories and visions and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with our final, at least in this series, Vietnam adventure video. In this last 36 hours I spent in Vietnam, we start off in Da Nang, hanging out on the beach, enjoying the beautiful weather before we hop on a plane to head back to Hanoi, go on some great adventures in Hanoi, and then hop on a plane back to Japan. Now, at the end of the video, I am going to share with you some very real life stuff and talk with you guys because that's what I do on this channel. I want to be authentic with you guys, I want to be real with you guys, and I want to tell you what's really going on. So, we're gonna get into that, but first, let's have some fun and get into the video. Spending the day I have to catch a plane back to Hanoi. This is a quick reminder to let you guys know that you should hit that subscribe button if you haven't and if you like the video at any point go ahead and hit that like button as well. Sorry for the interruption I'm gonna shut up now and let's get back to the video. that caffeine and all the avocados gotta be good for my skin so Alright guys, so I just got this drink. It's called a Passion Chili Peppers. It has chili infused tequila, orange, passion fruit, house made cinnamon cardinal, car cardinal? <laughs> cardinal? Cordial, egg white, lime. It says it has mild heat and it is a local inspiration. So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm actually going to lean forward so I don't spill anything. That's really good, really good. It's like, I've never had spiky, spicy alcohol before, but yeah, yeah, delicious. Especially with the like citrusy flavors together. So good. here it was time to head to the airport and get on a plane back to Hanoi. All right guys, we are back in Hanoi. The plane was hella delayed, so we got in late, but I checked into my hostel, and I'm gonna go have a 1.30 in the morning beer. I made a friend at the airport who's staying in the same area. We took a ride back to this area together, and uh, we're just gonna go grab a drink. Why the hell not? Enjoy the night. I didn't actually record any of what I did this night, but I did meet up with my friend who I made at the airport. We ran around Hanoi, we went to the Tom's Bar again, we had some drinks there. He wanted to find another bar, but he couldn't remember where it was and we tried to find it, couldn't find it. So we actually ended up just hanging out on the street corner with this old Vietnamese grandma who had made her little homemade brew of beer. We were buying beers from her. She didn't really speak any English, but there was another Vietnamese guy there who spoke a little bit and we were just laughing and joking and having a really good time despite the language barrier and then some other people joined us on the street and we were all just enjoying beers and laughing and it was it was so fun it was such a good time hanging out on that street corner and having drinks with all of these travelers as well as the grandma and the random Vietnamese man and then sometime between like 4 and 5 a.m. it was finally time to head back to the hostel and get some sleep. Alright guys it's my last day in Vietnam I'm heading to the airport tonight 
I slept in because I was out until past four o'clock in the morning, almost five. And then I had some coffee just now. And now I'm gonna go see if I can't find a hair salon and either get color or a treatment or something done to my hair because not using conditioner for two weeks, my hair is dry as hell and it needs it. So we're gonna do that. And then I've got to get some souvenirs, some omiyage for my friends back in Japan. And that's it, we're just gonna chill. Let's go. If you guys are in Hanoi and you want to get your hair done, I definitely recommend checking out this salon. I actually tried to book an appointment with them online and it said that I couldn't get one. So what I did was I went to the street that it was on. I knew there were several salons down that street and was walking around trying to find one that would take me. I went into one or two salons before I went into this one and they told me no. But when I walked into this salon, which was the one I originally wanted to book with anyway, they were like, oh yeah, please come in, sit down. And I showed them a picture of what I wanted. It was a very, very long process but they were happy to do it. They actually had a couple people working on me at one point, which was really fun. And as you guys know, I do hair, so it was really nice for me to sit down and let somebody else do my hair. And also, I don't mind spending hours in a salon because it's relaxing for me. But obviously, depending on what you're wanting to do, you won't have to spend that long in there. However, definitely recommend this salon. It's really fantastic. It was reasonably priced and I was Happy to get my hair done. But after getting my hair done, it was back to a little bit of wandering and then time to head to the airport. We gotta have one last egg coffee. And of course, it's on the street corner. Can I help you, sir? As always, I of course don't wanna leave. I've really been enjoying my time here and there's so much more to do that I just haven't had the opportunity to do, which means I'm gonna have to come back on a different trip and do it. But <sighs> Vietnam's awesome. I totally, totally get why Anthony Bourdain loves this place. I get it. I'm convinced this place is owned by Taco Bell. It looks like the bell, but upside down. And it's kind of similar. Taco Bell, but fuck, maybe. Just got to the airport. It's gonna be a long trip, so it's like a three hour flight from here to Macaw, and then I have like a six and a half hour layover there, and then another four and a half to five hour flight back to Osaka, and then of course I have to either take the bus or the train back to Kyoto, and then walk, so. It's gonna be long, but. I had an absolutely wonderful trip. I'm probably gonna do a recap video after this, so maybe this will be the end of the video. Maybe something exciting will happen on the way home. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, at the airport now. So nothing exciting happened while I was at the airport. In fact, it was quite the antithesis of exciting. While I was at the airport in Macaw, I was completely exhausted and I laid down on one of like the airport benches and fell asleep and I woke up in this absolute anxious panic and I didn't know why I was so anxious and so panicked because I still had plenty of time before my flight but that's how I woke up feeling and then just before I got on my airplane airplane flight airplane flight to head back to Japan from Macaw I got a phone call from my mom. And so, as most of you guys know, back in about November of 2019, I had decided that 
by the following April when my visa was expiring and when my contract was up at work, I would at least be heading back to America for a little bit to try a new adventure, to seek some new things. And I wanted to also spend some time with my grandmother because she had fallen very ill. And it was important to me that I get back to spend time with her and spend some time with other members of my family. So that was a decision I'd made back in November 2019. And then come around December, she was doing better, but I was still pushing forward with that plan. And then while I was about to get on the airplane to head back to Japan, my mom told me that she suddenly passed away. So from the airport in Macaw to Japan, from the airport in Japan back to Kyoto to my apartment, everything was just this complete blur and whirlwind of tears and being upset and feeling like a terrible granddaughter because I wasn't there. So I had this amazing, beautiful time in Vietnam and then it just kind of came crashing down at the very end there. And it doesn't take away at all from the experience that I had in Vietnam. But this is real life and these things happen and this is my life that I'm sharing authentically with you. So. Yeah, I wanted to tell you guys what really happened and what was going on and then whenever we actually get back to the Japan vlogs, I talk about a little bit of what's going on, but not much because I was just trying to, to cope and to deal. So yeah, that's, that's what happened guys. But keep an eye out because in the next video I'm going to be going over my sort of summary of Vietnam and if you are planning to travel there, my tips and things that you should expect. And then we're back to Japan. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave one of the little hair emojis, like the haircut or the hair flippy, whatever, whichever hair emoji you wanna leave. Not only does that my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you are here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want to know the way to help out my channel, down below there will be links to my website, my merch store, my Patreon. There's zero <laughs> obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. Remember to stay Genki AF, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.